Hey, hey, welcome to my Make Yourself at Home workout series. Today's focus is upper body. It's arm day, baby. So I have eight moves for us to do today. Move number one is gonna be our mobility move. It's gonna get our upper body warm and mobile. Then we have seven challenging moves where you're gonna need some equipment, a couple of different size weights, something medium to heavy, something light to medium that you can use to challenge yourself. Are you ready to work your upper body? Good, me too. Let's get going. I want you to come down onto the floor, onto your belly to get you started. All right, swan is our first move. So we're gonna scoop our chest and then press up. Use your back muscles to start the move. Use your arms to finish the move. Deep inhale and a big exhale. The breathing is just as important as the move to get your muscles ready and warm and excited to lift weights. All right, so each of our moves today, we'll spend about 45 seconds on. And then like I said, as always, this is a very repeatable set of work. So you can do it once, call it a day if you're good, or repeat it a few times to get an entire upper body circuit workout done, or tack it on to any of my other make yourself at home workouts. Grab your heavier set of dumbbells to start you off, overhead press. So set your feet underneath your hips, strap on an imaginary seat belt, and press your weights overhead. All right, first things first, you gotta keep your abs braced when you're pressing overhead. There's a lot of pressure that tries to collect in your lower back when we press overhead. So to alleviate that, we soften our knees, Okay, you can do this little twist thing that I'm doing if you want to. If you don't want to, you don't have to. You can go straight up and down. If you want a challenge, go out wide and bring those weights over your head. All right, I'm, I'm feeling this. We got 10 seconds. Deep breath in, deep breath out. If you need to, you can go bend and push. Last one right here. Yes. All right, coming down to the floor. Body weight only, we're doing a T push up. So we're gonna set our hands just a little bit wider than our shoulders. You can be on your knees or on your toes for the push-up part. And then I'm gonna have you rotate open into a side plank. So when you're ready, join me. Again, chest to elbow height in your push-up. And then when you rotate open, you're rolling from your toes to the sides of your feet. If you need to do this on your knees, it looks like this. When you rotate open, you make a little kickstand out of that bottom leg and extend the top leg long so you can fully open your chest to one side. Keep your, your core braced, belly in super tight, so your body can rotate as one unit. Don't lead with your head, lead with your heart. In the push-up, chin off your chest. Five seconds. And rest. Great work, guys. We're gonna come up onto our feet for the next move. Grab your light to medium set of weights. This is called Mac Race. So, looks like this. When you're ready, join me. One arm in front and one arm to the side. One arm straight in front and one arm bends and lifts to the side. So it's a combination move. One arm's in a forward raise and the other arm is in a lateral raise. So heels under hips, soft knees, Belly in tight. I want you to really squeeze your shoulder blades together. Lock them in nice and tight. So far, guys, we've had a lot of combination, complex movements using multiple muscle groups, big muscle groups. So if you're feeling the heat in the upper body, there's a good reason. Our next few moves are gonna be smaller muscle group focuses. So we're gonna bring that heart rate down just a little bit. Can you believe how high the heart rate is just with upper body? Roll out your shoulders, shake out your arms. We're gonna do a curl. You can keep your same weights or you can bump up a notch if you want to. Your choice. So bicep curl, up and down. So think about bringing your weights to right in front of your shoulders. And I've got a little twist going on, again, turning. When we add a twist or a supination to the bicep curl, it just helps us target this tiny little muscle that lives inside the bicep that is uh, hard to get to otherwise. So add that twist if you want to, or you can go straight up and down hammer curl, 
or you can go completely palm open curl. Wow, that's a challenge. So you pick the challenge that works for you, or when you repeat this set, you can change that grip, that hold, in that execution if you want to, to mix it up a little bit. Last one right there, and rest. All right, we're gonna go overhead extension, and I'm gonna bring you down to your knees for this one. You can always stand back up if you need to. And again, kind of moderate to heavy um, weight overhead. You can see I've got some plates stacked. One thing you could do is just drop to one of your heavier weights and bend and extend. So your goal is to get the weight close to the base of your neck, elbows close to the temples, belly in, back long and straight. All right, shoulders, drop them away from your ear so you keep your neck nice and long. And don't let your chin drop to your chest. You gotta keep your airway open. All right, I came down to my knees because coming down to the knees when we're working upper body actually makes the movements more challenging most of the time because it takes away any help that our legs were giving us. So there you go. Take it on if you want to and rest. Okay, come back up to your feet if you're on your knees. We have another move to do with a smaller muscle group focus. It's a reverse fly. This is gonna be for the rear delts and the upper back a little bit. Roll your shoulders, lift your chest, hinge forward in a bent over position. And you're opening and closing your arms very wide. Squeezing shoulder blades in to get the arms to lift to about shoulder height. So elbows are soft, but we're not bending our elbows to lift our weights. We're squeezing our shoulder blades in to lift our weights. Now, if you start to feel this in your lower back, soften your knees, dig your heels in, pull your low belly in. If you're still feeling it in your lower back, you can come down to a knee and do the work from a knee, okay? Good news. Five seconds to go. Breathing through three, two, and one. All right, this one's called walking hover. So you're gonna start in a full plank position, either on your knees or on your toes, and you're gonna walk down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Alternating your starting arm every time you repeat the move. Now, try your best to steady your hips. So I want you to think about strapping that imaginary seatbelt across your low abs. Pretend like you got a tray of drinks on your back and you're doing your very best to not spill your drinks all over your carpet. <laughs> all right, lock it down, friends. You can do this from your knees. You need to, 15 seconds to go. Chin off your chest. <sighs> breathe in, breathe out. I'm with you, I'm feeling it too. Five, four, three, two, one. Wow, great job. Shake it out, roll it off. Take a breather and repeat the set, or if you've had enough, call it a day. So guys, thank you so much again for joining me for Make Yourself at Home. Go check my website out. I got tons of online training options for you, and a lot of them are free. While you're there, check out the merch. Got a beautiful logo and sign up for my email list to stay in touch and get all the fitness secrets, tips, and tricks. All right, until next time, I'll see you.